Hey, it's Dan, and in this video I want to talk to you about why it's important to remember you don't own anything. Welcome to the Daniel Latto Podcast Show. Fresh content covering business, investing, marketing, money, health, and more. Hey, it's Dan, hope you're well. So, I was just reading about a person who... Uh, has a hotel with Booking.com and Booking.com basically closed their account due to non-payment of commissions. Now this is not about Booking.com and some of the stuff that they've been going through with some of their clients in not paying their commissions. It's not about that. But what this is about is that 80% of that hotelier's income came from Booking.com and that's a massive, massive problem because now their account's cancelled with them They've just lost 80% of their revenue. Now, I don't know about you, but if I lost 80% of my revenue, I'm pretty screwed, right? And so this person is pretty screwed. They either get back with booking.com, apologize, do whatever they need to do, but they're not replying to emails, um, or instantly they find a way of getting that 80% uh, income back. And how do you do that? I, you know, if you could do that in an instant, you do that, you just sell loads of businesses and do that all the time and sell the businesses, wouldn't you? So obviously that's very difficult to do. Uh, But there's a saying, and the saying is about owning the race course. And if somebody else owns the race course and they fall out with you, your horse can't race there anymore. And so if Booking.com, who owns the race course, if they fall out with you, you can't use Booking.com anymore. And so your business is ruined. You've got to own it. So that means owning your own website. Yeah, sure, you can post on Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and Insta and TikTok, but what if those go down? What if they go bust? What if they're no longer um, going to promote your stuff? You're screwed, right? So you've got to find different channels, first of all, to drive traffic, as many channels as you can, and then what are you driving traffic to? So Booking.com didn't necessarily drive traffic back to their website, but it did help them actually close business and now they've lost 80%. And so if your uh, business is reliant on Facebook and 80% of all your income comes from Facebook and Facebook falls out with you, you've lost that. It's exactly the same. So you've got to own, uh, first of all, own your website and then maybe even have a a centralized database, a centralized place. So this hotel company needs to basically start up their own hotel uh, booking.com type thing. Obviously, that's very, very difficult because Booking.com have got billions. You know, they do 32 billion a year in revenue. That's phenomenal, right? I have no idea why they can't pay their um, their clients. But anyway, it's just the way that it is. But look, you've got to own the race course. And if you can own the race course, then you're going to do much better. All right, hope that's useful. Hope it's useful information. I will speak to you soon. Take care.